Hi, it's Caroline. I am preparing the page for uh, the tag. And then the animal today is also is a snail. And I have this old encyclopedia that has some snails on it. So I'll figure out maybe how to use that. And I have this fabric that has a whole bunch of shells on it. This is a this is this is vintage fabric. This is from the 70s. It was in my mom's sewing stash. And I've used it for different things, but I do see some shells and snails uh, that I'm going to use somewhere. This will be like a little bit of a patchwork, but that's fine. I do like it when you use your, uh, your, your rejected papers as wipe off pages because you get some really cool effects from that. Use some glue stick, paint here, or uh, I was going to do gesso, but oh, maybe I will do gesso. It's right here, it's handy, works nicely. Little dab and I'm going to use my spatula. I'm going to use this portion of the the photo or the page um, and it says here help snails help keep the inside of an aquarium clean which I grew up with aquariums uh, my dad had them a couple not huge ones just nice ones in his in his office his stamp room and uh, so this is really nostalgic for me I'm going to use that as a what do you call that a little tuck spot. I think it looks really good. I might have to put more glue up here a little bit. Some, just a tuck spot for something with dad's handwriting on it. A little spot here just to uh, I'll put a date or something and I can write in there. Nails, eh? <laughs> Different kinds. the fraying. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that's going to be better. A little bit of glue here. Well, 
I have sewn around my shells and this is going to be my tab and I'm going to staple it here on this page and I also found a playing card that has some really nice shells on it and a snail so I'm going to put this in here also um, this whole thing came together a little bit of an afterthought when I started to sew around here I was looking in a a file folder of mine and this is my right to passage on a Greek liner from Berlin where I was born and my dad my dad was German and um, this is the the World Health Organization the vaccination certificate that was required because I was a baby when I came across the ocean and then my dad's signature is in here Canadian Immigration Identification Card. So I'm going to put that in here. And that's going to be my a really nice place to put that memory. And this Florida thing is really appropriate because both my parents loved to go to Florida. And we went as a family several times. Had a tremendous amount of fun. And uh, this is just, I think this is perfect. I'm going to put this in here like that. I'm going to put staple this. There really isn't much more to do to this page, I don't think. I'm very satisfied. I probably should sew it, but my my um I can't get my words out. <laughs> I think I'll just staple. Yeah, all the shells are different colors and all that, but I think it's wonderful. This can go here. Actually, this can go like that. And I can put this in here. Yes. So that is the prompt for day number 19. Prompt number 19, fabric page tab, and I did use the animal of the day is, or the creature of the day was the snail, and that came together just perfectly. Thank you very much for tagging along. Enjoy your day. Take care. See you soon. Bye.